what's up? This is CeCe and I play drums for Black Bell Brides. Even from an early age, I guess what got me started playing drums and stuff was watching the drum lines in high school. So when I was about 10, uh, I started getting a practice pad and bang, you know, banging my pots and pans and practice pads and stuff. And it kind of just evolved from there. Eventually my dad got me a snare drum from, you know, a pawn shop and stuff. And so I'd always see, you know, the Zildjian cymbals in the pawn shop or the, you know, the music store and be like, oh man, I can't wait to be able to afford one of those and get a drum set. So, you know, just practicing and, you know, I got real serious about it. So my parents eventually bought me a drum kit and, um, you know, really entry level with like bootleg cymbals, you know, it, it was it was pretty, pretty garbage. Um, I, don't, I don't even know what wood it was made out of. It was probably made out of like just compressed cardboard or something at that point. But uh, yeah, you know, working my way up and I, I finally got my first Zildjian cymbal and I remember like just the, the tone of it, you know, it was, was so good and I think I ended up breaking that one and I was really upset. But, uh, you know, I was, I was in Drumline, I was in a bunch of different bands, you know, punk, metal, I was even in jazz ensemble, so I kind of had the whole, the whole ringer, so, you know, I, I think my chops were better in high school than they are now, because um, now I'm kind of just a rock guy, but, you know, back then I was kind of all over the place. I always wanted to be an Zildjian artist and I always knew the, the type of quality and even doing research on the company, um, you know, knowing that they came from Turkey and the, the family history and everything from alchemists and all that, I mean, it was a really interesting story to me and so I always wanted to be a part of, you know, a company that had such an interesting story and that has lasted through hundreds of years and, you know, just one of the best percussion companies on earth, in my opinion, the best symbol company on earth, no one ever can compare nor will compare to them. Seeing myself now, knowing where I, I used to be and how much I wanted to be able to buy that next that A Custom Crash or like, you know, the, the K Custom hybrids came out, I lost my shit. I was like, oh my God, like, what is this? I gotta have one. So everything I'd buy, I mean, I'd put them all on my walls and, and stuff. And just throughout the years, it's so crazy to finally see myself a part, you know, of the company, not of the company, but on the roster. And, you know, working in a partnership with one of my favorite companies on earth. And, you know, once I finally signed that, that uh, deal with Zildjian, I was kind of blown away. I was like, wow, this is like a mile milestone, you know? Cause I, I try not to take a step back and think of like the level of success I have as a person or the band has, and, you know? I, I value it and I respect it, but I try to just take it day by day and you know, I don't, I don't let anything get to my head. And so when something like that happens, I'm in a full page ad for Zildjian, I was like, oh my God, like this is something for real. And so, you know, I'm very appreciative and you know, I'm not going anywhere, so. Primarily, I have I have A Customs. Um, I like that really bright sound. Um, I have one K Custom Hybrid, the 19-inch China, uh, but I have a 21-inch Ultra Hammered China cymbal. I have a 22-inch Medium Ride cymbal, which I didn't even know that Zildjian made something like that. So I went to meet with the rep, and I was testing out Zildjians, and um, I've had like 20-inch ping rides in the past, and all different types of Zildjians, but I finally nailed it with this ride cymbal. I mean, I think it's my favorite ride cymbal I've ever owned and an um, 18 inch Rezo Crash, which is the one I normally crash ride on. And so, um, you know, they're all fantastic sounding cymbals, you know, with like a projection crashes. I think I have like a 17, 18 and 20 projection crash, a 14 inch fast crash. Um, they're all A custom. And, you know, I really like the sound. They're just a really bright um, sound and, and I've always loved them. You know, me being in this band, I think they sound the best. And, you know, I'm all over the place. I have so many symbols. I have an 8 inch A custom splash, 10 inch A custom splash, and I think that's pretty much it. And just an assortment of different things. And a 14, 14 inch A custom hi, hi hat, just the standard um, setup for hi hats. But uh, yeah, everything sounds great. And you know, sometimes my drum tech will throw, throw a new crash in there, and I'll be in the middle of the set and I'll hit him like, yeah, 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 it sounds good. I like it. Keep that one there. But uh, for, for, you know, I have, I have them going all over my kit, and so you'll definitely. Uh, see some footage of, of all the crashes in action today.